Hello there, welcome. This is TV One Pentathlon Season TV 2. We're back with the final a match between our top 16 schools and today we have two schools who have joined us from the hill capital of the country. Don't you think that's exciting because we have a boys school versus a girls school yet again? Well that's right, the game is going to get even tough and even more exciting because this is the platform where we bring out the best out of the best talents and this is of course a learning stage for most of us. Just like Krishma mentioned, today it will be two schools competing each other from the same locality which means the competition is going to get even better and also, just like she mentioned, today is going to be the final match of the top 16, which means we have to find out who will be getting closer. Well, enough of the talking, let's get the schools introduced. Yes, indeed. Let's start off with the boys' school first. We have with us all the way from Kandy, Dharmaraja College. Well, we got the boys on the stage. It's time for us to find out who their opponents are. Again, from the Central Hills. Let's put our hands together for the girls from Girls High School Candy. Well, now that we have both the schools on stage, let's find out how the schools have been preparing for the second round, which is our top 16. We have Hashenia, who is the captain from Dharmaraja College. How has your team been gearing up for this match? Well, we identified our mistakes from the last match and we took precautions to correct them. And we hope to win this. And of course, what matters in such a match is sportsmanship, not just winning. All right, so we wish you the best of the results as well as the best of sportsmanship as well. Great words coming out from the captain of Dharmaraj College, Candy. Well, he mentioned it's not just taking part, it's about how you take part. Well, that's what matters. With that being said, let's see whether the girls got something equally better to say as we are about to kickstart the match. Met me, we have the captain from Girls High School, Candy. How is the preparation? We too have been practicing this vacation and We've been doing our best and we are ready to accept whatever happens this time, but we are going to do our best. Okay, so now is there a little bit of fear at least to take uh, on the boys from the very powerful same uh, location, Candy? How does that feel? Well, there is of course, but then we will do our best. You'll do your well. best? Yes. Same location is a little bit of a problem, no? Yeah. Not at all? Let's Not, see. No, really. Okay, let's wait and see how the preparation pays off when we continue the game. Well, such an important game needs a lot of good decisions to be made, especially when it comes to marking. And that's why today too, we have two eminent panel of judges with us to judge this game as the final game of the top 16. So let's put our hands together. First and foremost, uh, to Mr. Janit Gunusekara in Service Advisor, Sonil Education Office, Hakmana. Well, also joining on the panel with us is Ayoma Damianti, working as a resource person in NIE and the Ministry of Education. Well, now that we've got our judges introduced, it's time to kick things off here with the tossing of the coin. And to do the honours of that, we'd like to invite both the captains to join us front and centre, as well as invite one of the judges to oversee the toss as well. Well, we have the toss ready, ready in hand with two sides, TV1 and Pintathlon. Let's see which of the schools, whether it's going to be Darbaraz College or is it going to be Girls High School Candy, who will be going in first in each of the matches. Are we ready? Well, we are all ready. We need to see who will be going and selecting which side. You, you? Um, boys first? Yes. Okay, boys first. Uh, we'll be choosing Pentathlon. Pentathlon, which means we'll have to definitely go with? TV1. Were you ready to select TV1? Yes, of course. Okay, right. Let's see how it goes off. On whose side the favouring side works for. Three, two, one. It is. It starts with B, which means it is Pentathlon. Um, we'll be going second. I didn't even ask you, you just said it. Yeah. You're ready to follow the girls? Yeah. You're ready to follow the girls? Well, in every round in this match, but not anywhere else. Not anywhere else, just on the game of pentathlon, the boys are ready to follow the girls. Are you happy that the boys from Dharmaraj College are following Girls High School Candy? Of course. Of course. Yes. Okay, right. So, the pitch is set. 
The girls have to go in first and the boys will follow the girls. Let's shake hands and start things off. So we got the teams introduced, we got the judges introduced. We saw who will be going in first in each of the rounds. So it's time for us to kickstart today's first round, which we call Balance. Your quiz. Let's start off with asking Methmi, the captain of Girls High School Candy, who are three co-players up for this round. Sajini, Nuha and Achala. And who will be coming in first? Sajini will be going first. Sajini, come forward. Let's put our hands together. Well, we have Sajini ready to go in first. Are you ready? <laughs> Feeling a little bit excited or nervous? Both. Mixed feelings, it's called. Okay. okay, right. So you've got 30 seconds to deal with. And we got the questions ready. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Anthos, Portos and Aramis are characters found in which novel? Pass. The Three Musketeers. What is the capital of Latvia? Pass. It's Riga. Which sports team has won the most NBA World Championships? New York Yankees. Wrong. It's Boston Celtics. Who is the biggest member of the cat family? Uh, lion. Wrong, it's Siberian Tiger. What are the two most abundant metals in the Earth's core? Iron and nickel. Correct. The questions are up. Now finally we've got to do the final answer right. Okay, let's see how it goes. Right, so that is how the girls uh, took part in their first round thus far. Let's move on to the boys and see who their three co-players are. Uh, the co-players are Tevindu. Ubindu and Nipuna. Who's coming in first? Tevindu. Let's put our hands together. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Quasimodo is a character found in which novel? Hunchback of Notre Dame. What is the capital of Croatia? Sakhi. Correct. Montreal Canadiens have won the most world champions in which sport? Ice hockey. Correct. Name the only continent where you don't find bees. Uh, Antarctica. Correct. Earth's mass is mostly made of iron and which other elements? Aluminium. Wrong, it's oxygen. Your questions are up. Well, it's time once again for the girls from Girls High School. Candy, who is coming in? Nuha is coming. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> Nuha, are you ready? Yes. Okay, without much further time, let's start off. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to deal with. The time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Timmy the dog is found in which novel? Tintin and Adventures. Wrong, it's Famous Five. Well, no, it was a disqualification, but that's how the game works. Okay, let's put our hands together for her. Well, uh, what you just saw was a disqualification. Let's see whether the boys are able to capitalize on that situation. Who is coming in next? Uh, it will be Uvidu. Come forward. Three, two, one, go. Balu the bear is found in which novel? Pass. The Jungle Book. Historical city Hoi An is located in which country? Belgium. Wrong, it's Vietnam. W.G. Grace was famous for which sport? Uh, basketball. Wrong, it's cricket. Who introduced the concept of natural selection? Uh, pass. It's Charles Darwin. What does AC stand for in electricity? Air condition. Wrong. Alternating current. Your questions are up. AC in electronics. Didn't click mm -hmm. at that time, no? Anyway, let's put our hands together. Right, it's the final chance for the girls. Who is coming in next? Achala is coming. Let's put our hands together for Achala. Achala, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. Okay, all full of smiles. You have to end the round also with a smile. That means you're going to do good. I okay. hope so. You hope so. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Mercutio is a character found in which Shakespearean play? Uh, Coriolanus. Wrong. Romeo and Juliet. Construction of the Panama Canal started in which decade? Uh, 70th. Wrong. It's 1910s. Which is the second most popular city in Europe? London. Wrong, it's Moscow. 
Which company first invented a computer mouse? Apple. Wrong. Xerox. Sri Lanka has won most number of test cricket matches against which country? Zimbabwe. Wrong. It's Bangladesh or Pakistan. Are you still going to smile? <laughs> what happened to that nice smile when you came into the room? Mm, kind of went. <laughs> kind of went, no? Let's try to regain it. But anyway, let's put a smile on her and give her a good round of applause. Okay, so that's how the girls took part in the first round. We got one more chance to be given out to the boys. Let's see how well they capitalize on that. Come forward, who's coming in? The last co-player will be Nipuna. Okay, let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go. Portia and Bassanio are characters found in which Shakespearean play? Hamlet. Wrong, Merchant of Venice. Construction of the Suez Canal started in which decade? 1870s. Wrong, 1850s. Which is the second most populous city in North America? Canada. Wrong. Mexico City. Who first invented a nuclear reactor? Uh, Otto. Huh? Wrong. Enrico Fermi. Sprinter Johann Blake is a native of which country? Jamaica. The time, time is up. up. <laughs> right. Well, that's how the first round ended, but I'm not very sure, neither is Fishman sure how the scores look like because we need to bring in the scores and also stay tuned because we got some amazing rounds coming up as we are in level 2 of TV1 in Tatlon Season 2. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. And today we are here at the end of Round 1 between two very, very interesting and talented schools, Girls High School Candy as well as Dharmaraja College Candy. At the end of Round 1, let's take a look at the results. We have Girls High School Candy in the first round scoring themselves 10 points. Meanwhile, the boys from Dharmaraja College Candy in the first round have scored themselves 15 points. So without much further ado, let's progress to round two, which we call Express. To impress. Round 2 is a really fun round because each of the teams gets a story lead which they then have to act out and present before our judges who will, they, who will be marking them on their diction, their pronunciation and their creativity here on stage. So without further ado, let's go over to the girls and find out what's the topic that they pick for themselves. There were two funny men living together for a long time. Both of them were very close pals, very stupid, and yet they lived happily. Something that annoys other people is that they worry even for very minor issues. And then... Well, then what happens? We are to see because the girls got to be a little bit macho because it's a male character which they have to wear for these two minutes. So let's see how very well they perform within two minutes. Why wait? Let's start. Your time starts right about now. Once upon a time, there lived two best friends called Thompson with the P and Thompson with the P. Wait, I thought I was the one with the P. No, I'm the one with the P. Anyway, anyway that's, that's us. us. Us two are so much fun that they got so jealous and started calling us stupid. I mean, what does stupid even mean? I'm pretty sure that's a made up word. Thompson and Thompson, will you please be quiet? We sane people are trying to get some sleep. Thompson, I'm craving for some food. It's lunchtime. Let's go shopping. You can go shopping now. It's nine o'clock in the night. You go shopping when the moon is nigh. And we go shopping when the moon is high. They're jolly good fellows. They're jolly good fellows indeed. 
We are jolly good fellows. We are jolly good fellows. We are jolly good fellows. Who's going to buy some eggs? I'll go make some lunch, okay? Okay. Whoa, that's a plane. Come look. I'm pretty sure that's Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. The egg is on fire. Oh my god. Fire! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god. Department, now you call the fire brigade. Then call back now. I'm calling. Fire brigade all the way. So where's the fire? Over there. So this burnt egg is your idea of a fire? My beautiful lunch. It's burned to crisps. We're gonna starve to death. <laughs> Thompson and Thompson are bringing troubles to our lives. My God. At least our lives will never be boring with these two around. Mm hmm Yes. Okay, right. So, that is how the girls put it up from Girls High School Candy. Shall we all put our hands together for that? Well, good stuff displayed on stage. It's time to see whether the boys from the Central Hills too will be able to make some big noise. But for that, they need to pick their number. A young man was riding on a horse with heavily loaded mangoes which were packed carelessly. He travelled in his horse a long way to collect those mangoes. He wasn't sure how long it would take to reach home. And then... Well, and then what happens? We are to find out. Boys, do you like your mangoes? Yes. You like mangoes? Yes. Okay, right. So why wait? Let's see how very well they pay off justice to what we just read and continue the storyline. you got two minutes. Your time starts now. Ow. Oh, it's getting a little bit dark now. I'm also feeling a little bit hungry. Let me eat a mango. <gasps> Where are my mangoes? Oh God, I need to sell them tomorrow. Where are they? Oh, this one. This one. Excuse me. Yes, my child. Did you see my mango? No, I didn't, son. Uh, by the way, don't go to that first. That is haunted. I don't oh. care whether it's haunted or not. I need to find my mangoes and I need to sell them tomorrow. Oh, poor child. Oh, good sir. Did you see my mangoes? Yes. Oh, splendid. Where are they? Well, my friends ate them. What? Where are your friends? I'm going to make them pay today. Uh, the thing is, my friends are in the afterlife. What? So am I. We are ghosts. Uh, so you're go I said at first, yeah, we are ghosts. Yeah. No, I I better get out of here. Wait, 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, son. Wake up. Oh. You are getting late for your school. Sorry, mom. I think I had the craziest dream ever. Uh, by the way, your mango juice is ready. Oh, mango juice. My favorite. Well, something unusual which we witnessed on the stage of Pentathlon. The boys have uh, done very good thinking and gone beyond uh, imagination and uh, put up something really great. Great stuff. Shall we put our hands together, everyone? Well, there you go. That's how we come to an end of two rounds. Well, you and I need to know which school have scored better in round two. So for that, let's move on to our elite panel of judges and find out how the scoring looks like. Express to impress. Congratulations to both teams. And this is a very good platform to all of you to dramatize a storytelling. This is a team effort. When we are judging, we had to consider 
your creativity and your imagination and your effort to the uh, reference to the contest and collective of various thoughts also how did you complete the story with the defini definite build up and conclusion considering all these things after observing all the presentations dharmaraj college candy has scored 61 marks <laughs> yes high school candy they have scored 87 marks let's take a look at the scores at the end of two rounds we see dharmaraj college candy with 76 points And meanwhile, the girls from Girls High School Candy have scored themselves 97 points. It's time for us to move into the third round, which we call Word the Basket. In our third round, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. The team is then given a word, which is going to be 12 alphabets long, with several of the alphabets locked. In order to unlock an alphabet, they have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gives them 10 points, and if they are then able to correctly guess the word, they are able to get themselves a further of 70 points. Well, those are the rules and regulations in round word the basket. So as we start off with the round. Let's see which number is picked out by the girls from Kent. This is word number 6. Well, the girls picked out word number 6 before we find out what word number 6 is. It's time for us to see who their co-players are. So, let me. Who are your co-players for this round? Are you me? Me and Sajini. Okay, now the core players have been selected. It's time for us to see what is word number six. A blank to start off with: P, two blanks, O, two blanks, I, two blanks, E, and another blank at the end. Well, there you go. That is what they have to work with. Who will you be sending in first, and what is that letter she would like to unlock? The third blank. The third blank. That is the one before O. Yes. Come forward. Let's put our hands together. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, it was a slow-paced ball. Let's see who will be coming in next, and what is the letter you would like unlocked? The first letter, and I will be. Okay, it's the first space. Come forward. Let's put our hands together, everyone. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, it was a beautiful shot by the captain herself. Who will be coming in next, and what is the letter you would like unlocked? The last blank. Ms. Ajini will be. Three, two, one, go. Well, a successful netting. Now, what is your decision, Captain? Are you going to sending additional players, or are you going to decide what the word is? Okay. Are you going to decide what the word is? Uh, no, we are going to send in the fourth player. The fourth player, and what is that letter? Uh, the blank after O. Three, two, one, go. Well, she was not able to net the basket, which means there is minus points because it's an additional player. Are you going to send in your next player? Or are you going to decide what the word is? Uh, we are going to decide what the word. Is. You're going to decide what the word is. Okay. So, are you ready with the word? Yes. Can you read it out loud and clear and spell each of those? The word is appropriated. A P P R O P R 
I A T E D. What is the word? Appropriated. Appropriated. You sure about it? Fairly sure about it. Fairly sure about it. Captain is a little clueless as to what is happening right now. The decisions are being made by someone else. What's going on? Um, yes, it's a collective effort. It's a collective yeah. effort, yes, but yes. the captain needs to take up leadership. Yes, sir, we're fairly sure that this is the word. You're sure that it is the word? Yes, fairly sure. Noah, are you confident about it? Um, we are kind of. Kind of confident, appropriated is what they selected. We need to find out whether there is a word of such nature. You and I are eagerly awaiting and the girls are tensed out to see whether that is the correct word. Are you all ready to see what the correct word is? Or do you think you decided on the correct word? Let's see. It's time for us to reveal the word. What do you see? The correct, the correct word. word. You think you said that word? Yes. yes. I don't think so. We did. <laughs> you said something else. No, we didn't. You sure about it? Yes. yes. If you're sure about it, can you scream out your names loud and give it good applause to your school? High school. High school! High school! Well, there you go. The girls were very confident in what they selected. However, they also have minus points with that total coming into their scorecard. And the girls are excited. It's time for us to see whether the boys from the Central Hills will give an equally good game. Let's see what number they pick out. This is word number one. Well, the boys from Dharmaraja College can be picked out word number one. Well, before we find out what word number one is, it's time for us to find out who their co-players are. Captain. The co-players are Uvindu, Tevin and myself. Well, the co-players have been read out. It's time for us to see what is word number one. We have two spaces to start off with. T, a space A, two spaces G, two spaces C and another space at the end. So, Captain, who will you be sending in first and what is that letter he would like to unlock? The first co-player is Uvindu and the spaces. The blank before T. The blank oh, sorry, after before T. After T. The blank after T. Okay, come mm -hmm. forward. Let's put our hands together. There you go. Stand by. Three, two, one, go. Well, it was a super direct hit by the boys. Who will be coming in next? And what is the letter? It will be Thevin. Thevin for? Before the space before G. The space before G? Yes. Well, it is the blank before G. And let's put our hands together. Who's coming in? Well, it was not a successful attempt, however, they got a chance again who will be coming in and what is that letter he would like to unlock? It will be me for the third space unlocked right now. The space after A. Three, two, one, go. Well, it was an easy one for the captain and he got that right and discovers that letter which was locked. What is your decision now? Are you going to send in additional players or are you going to decide what the word is? Mm. We'll decide what the word is. You're going to decide what the word is? Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five spaces to fill together with one locked. Let's see whether the boys from the Central Hills from Dharmaraja College, Kendi, are able to guess the correct word. Are you all ready? Yes, you're ready? Yes. So spell it out loud and clear together with each of those alphabets read out. The word is extravagance. The spellings are E, X, T, R, A, V, I, G, A, N, C, E. Ex what's the word? Extravagance. 
extravagant. You sure you made the correct decision? It's... We hope it's correct. Do you know that one letter could change the entire thing? But your decision is final. Extravagance. No. Um, you can't make any changes. It's, it's final. Let's find out what the word is. What happened? One letter was incorrect. One letter. You were close to getting those full points. Because you didn't send additional players. If you decided what that was, you would have surpassed the scores of the girls. Nevertheless, these are the decisions made which we have to learn from. That is how the girls and boys from the Central Hills took part in round three. The girls got it right, the boys, because of a letter, things went wrong for them. We'll have the points and much more excitement as we come back. You are tuned on to TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Hello and welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. And we are now at the end of three rounds where we saw that things took quite a drastic turn for one of our schools. Let's find out what the scores look like at the end of round three. In round three, we saw Dharmaraja College scoring themselves 20 points and that brings their total up to 96 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Girls High School Candy at the end of round three. They scored 80 points for the round, which brings their total up to 177 points. Well, that is how the points look like, but nevertheless, things could change, boys. Brighten up because you got two more interesting rounds where you could showcase the best of the best what you just got in yourselves. With that being said, let's move on to our fourth round, which we call Target. Your knowledge. In this round, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players and they have to each try their hand at a round of golf where they have to hit the golf club to the golf ball and send it into where any one of the holes. Each of the holes corresponds to a particular subject from which they will then be asked a question. Each correct answer will give them 25 points. If they choose to double and answer correctly, they will be given 50 points. But if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, they will be given negative points. With that being said, it's time for us to move on and find out from the girls who their co-players are for this round. Captain from Girls High School, Candy, who are your three co-players? Me, Nuha and Ayumi. Okay, and who will be coming in first? I will be coming in first. The captain comes forward. Let's put our hands together. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Just missed the yellow. You got another chance. Three, two, one, go. Your final chance. Three. Go. So two chances were not capitalized. However, the final one was good. And they got yellow, which is art and entertainment. Art and entertainment is what you got. Do you want to go in for a double? No, thank you. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. You saw the actor who played title character Mrs. Doubtfire in the children's classic film of the same name. The, this comedian starred in a series of box office hits before committing suicide due to depression a couple of years ago. Name him. Your options are A. Steve Martin B. Jim Carrey C. Robin Williams or D. Eddie Murphy Um, the answer is C, 
Robin Williams. C. Robin Williams. Have you seen the movie? Yes. You have. C. Robin Williams is the correct answer. Well, it was an easy one for the girls from Girls High School Candy. Let's see whether the boys are able to do equally better and ask the captain who are his three co players. The co players are Uvindu, Tevin, and myself. And who's coming in first? It will be Uvindu. Come forward. Let's put our hands together. You're ready? Three, two, one, start. Well, it was a good one for the boys. It was a prompt to start things off with, which means they could select any of the subjects. Let's see what they pick. What's your choice? We'll be choosing geography. And would you like to double? Yes. All right, so geography and they will be doubling. Let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted in red on the map. Your options are A. Suriname B. French Guinea C. Guyana or D. Venezuela The answer is C. Guyana C. Guyana And how sure are you about this answer? Very sure Very sure because this is an answer for a double and this is not a very easy question either. Your answer, C, Guyana, is the correct answer, 50 points. Well, it's a good opportunity taken by the boys and they made a wise decision by doubling it. Thereby, there you go, they made use of the opportunity. So, good stuff for the boys. Let's move on to Girls High School Candy. Captain, who is coming in next? Nuha is coming in. Okay, let's put our hands together, everyone. Are you ready? Well, it was a direct hit by the girls from Girls High School Candy. It was white and it is a trump. Let's see what they pick out. What's your choice and would you like to go in for a double? Uh, it's geography and we would like to go in for a double. All right. Let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted in red on the map. Your options are A. Sudan B. Eritrea C. Ethiopia or D. Djibouti The answer is B. B. Eritrea? Yes. How sure are you about this? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? This is an answer for a double. You have given the answer as B, Eritrea, and that is the correct answer. Boys, what's your decision? Who will be sending it next? It will be me. The captain is coming forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go. Well, it was yellow. It is art and entertainment. Let's see how well they make use of this chance. Arts and entertainment is your topic. Let's take a look at your visual. These twins are fashion designers and former child actresses who made the ranks of the wealthiest women in the entertainment industry at a young age with net worth over $400 million. Name these two. Your options are A. Ashley and Elizabeth B. Mary Kate and Ashley C. Mary Kate and Elizabeth or D. Jane and Elizabeth You've got five seconds more It's A A. Ashley and Elizabeth. Have you seen these sisters before? Yes. Okay, and are you sure about your answer? Not that sure. Not that sure. Your answer is A, Ashley and Elizabeth. The correct answer is B, Mary Kate and Ashley. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. 
Let's move on to the final chance of this round to the girls from Candy. And who is your next player? Ayumi is our next player. Let's put our hands together for her. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, that was a slow ball. You're ready. Okay, second chance. Three, two, one, go. So the first was a slow ball, the next was a trump, which means let's find out what subject they select. Uh, we would like to choose literature. All right, let's take a look at your visual. Name this Indian writer and journalist whose debut novel, The White Tiger, won the 2008 Man Booker Prize. Your options are A. Vikram Seth, B. Vikas Swaroop, C. Arvind Adiga, or D. Chetan Bhagat. Uh, the answer is A. A. Vikram Seth. The correct answer is C, Arvind Adiga. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. Well, the girls were not able to capitalize on their final opportunity in round four. Let's see how well the boys face the final chance in round four. Who is coming in? It's Tevin. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, it seems like it's a day filled with a lot of prom moments today. So, let's see what subject the boys pick out as their last option. What's your pick? It's sports and games. Sports and games. Let's take a look at your wish room. This Australian former tennis player is the only person to have won all four Grand Slam singles titles in a year twice. He did that in 1962 and 1969. Name him. Your options are A. Roy Emerson, B. Rod Laver, C. Jimmy Connors, or D. Bill Tilden. It's B. B. Rod Laver is the correct answer. time for us to find out how the scores look. At the end of round four, let's now take a look at the points table. We start off with Dharmaraja College Candy in round four. They scored themselves 75 points and that brings their total up to 171 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Girls High School Candy in the fourth round also scored themselves 75 points and that brings their total up to 252 points. time for us to move on to the final round of the top 16 and the final match of the top 16 which we call the buzzer round. Let's get started with question number one. Who is the current president of Cuba? Nipuna? Miguel Diaz Cana. That's the correct answer. Question Number two, with 40 million cars sold since 1966, which model is the best-selling car? Uwindu? Volkswagen Beetle. Volkswagen Beetle. Is the best-selling car of all time? That is the incorrect answer. Does Girls High School have an answer? Toyota Corolla. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question Number three, Hollywood movie The Sound of Music was based on which real life singing family? Nipuna? One Trap Family. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four, name the second largest island in the Caribbean Sea. Tevindu? 
Hispaniola? That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number five. Which wicket keeper holds the world record for the most number of dismissals in one day international matches? Tony. That's the incorrect answer. Question number six. United Nations organization was founded in which American city? Hashem? San Francisco. That's the correct answer. We move on to question number seven. Who was the first person to have become Time Magazine's Man of the Year? Nipuna? Charles Lindbergh. That's the correct answer. Question number eight. In which year did the Great Fire of London take place? Windu? Uh, 1566. That's the correct answer. Question number nine. Which batsman holds the record for the second highest test score in an innings? Nuha? Matthew Hayden. That's the correct answer. And now we come to the final question. Question number 10. Which musician composed the world's most popular ballet? Nuha? Verdi. That's the incorrect answer. Nipuna? Peter Tchaikovsky. That's the correct answer. Well, the points table has now changed because round five was just beyond. Well, we never know who has surpassed who. We are yet to find out and also we have an amazing title which we call the Pentathlete which we'll be giving it after this short break. Stay tuned, this is TV1 Pentathlon Season, Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season, Season two. 2. Well, today is the final day as we'll be bringing you the top 16 schools, which means we'll be progressing another round further. And yes, we have today with us the schools from the Central Hills Dharmaraj College versus Girls High School Candy. Well, it was a nail-biting finish. The fifth round was indeed something to look forward to. So let's see how the points look. Yes, but before that, Joel, we have to find out who the Penn athlete of the match is. And to give us a decision on that, we go now to our panel of judges. We selected Heshan from Dharmaraj College as the best Penta athlete of this week. Now it's time for us to break the ice and read out the scores at the end of five rounds and find out who will be progressing to the top eight schools. Let's find out. We start off with the scores of the fifth round. In the fifth round, Dalmaraj College Candy scored themselves 55 points and that brings their points up to 226 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Girls High School Candy in the fifth round scored themselves 10 points but that brings their total up to the winning total today, 262 points. Now it's time for us to call on our judges for their valuable words giving out and it's time for us to begin the presentation. Well, as we begin the presentation today, it's right and just that we start off with our title being presented today. So let's put our hands together for the pentathlete of this match, the captain from Dharmalaj College, Kendi. And now let's wish all the best to the school that came in second and wouldn't be progressing further, but they did a job well done. Let's give it up to Dharmaraj College, Candy. Well, that's a wrap of the top 16 
level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon season 2. We'll see you again as we progress to the top 8. Stay tuned, keep it locked. This is TV1 Pentathlon season, season 2. two.